As the title indicates, today is going to be a cooking video and we're going to make redfish on the half shell. We're going to top it with a garlic lemon butter sauce and some shrimp and it's going to be fantastic. We're going to have some asparagus on the side, but first things first, we got to go catch a fish. So come with me and we'll go get that taken care of. Big red, gold spoon. I don't have a leader on, so I'm gonna play my drag a little bit here. I don't wanna break him off. Crank it down just a little bit. We'll wear him out. The first fish of the weekend, first good fish in a long time so I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the fight yeah he's doing I don't have a leader on so I'm working my drag a little bit but wear him out that'd be dinner that'd be some dinner Gold spoon. Yeah, so good red. Look at that. Good color on him. Get into the sun. See that blue glimmering tail. I'm gonna go ahead and don't want to lose him. So you know, it's kind of a tough thing right now. Do you catch and release, or do you go ahead and? fish and my contention is is if you want the food you're gonna use it immediately let's go ahead and keep it uh, probably won't do a lot of freezing of fish but we are completely out of fish at home so I'm gonna keep this one okay there we go good fish that feels good all right, so as I mentioned, today we're going to be making redfish on the half shell, and we're going to be making it on the blackstone griddle. And so we're going to do every part of it. That's the beauty of the blackstone griddle is that we can do every part of it right here on the uh, flat top. You could also do this, uh, of course, on the stove and a cast iron skillet. Uh, you can do it on the grill, in fact. Um, a lot of you have probably already had redfish on the half shell, and basically what a half shell means is we just filleted one side off of it, left the scales and the skin on it, and that scales and skin is going to provide a protective layer against the heat to keep it from burning. It's going to allow that uh, fish to cook real nice and moist. So the first thing we're going to get started on is our sauce, and we're going to take, uh, I'm going to take about a stick of butter. Actually, I'm going to take a stick of butter and we're going to put it in the saucepan that we've got heating up here. Meanwhile, our griddle is getting uh, hot. We want that uh, pretty hot uh, to, do, to cook the fish on. So we're going to get that going. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil. You could use extra virgin olive oil. You can use vegetable oil, whatever oil that you may have. And we're going to go ahead and get the uh, get our asparagus laid out, get that started. We've got a lot more than what we need here, so I'm just gonna use part of that. And then it's, I'm gonna lightly salt and pepper those and get those uh, cooking. We'll probably add a little bit of butter to that and get that cooking. All right, while our butter is still melting on the skillet, I probably should have had that already taken care of, but we're gonna lay this redfish, and you can see what we've got here is just, uh, we just, uh, just fillet that one side off. So on the other side, we've got scales still intact. And I'm gonna put this down just a little bit more oil so make sure those scales don't stick. And we're just gonna lay that on a hot griddle. The first thing that we wanna do is we're gonna take some butter and we're just gonna, I've got some 
unsalted butter, and we're just going to put that uh, just kind of all across here. And then I've got a little nylon brush, and we're just going to spread that all the way across and paint that in for our seasoning to stick to, at, keep that moisture in there. So we're just going to spread some of that on there. You could use margarine. In this case, I'm using butter. You could put oil on it. In fact, I probably will go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put some oil on this side as well. And then we're going to coat it very liberally with, this is a, uh, it's a blackening seasoning. And this is kind of some paprika and some onion powder or some oregano in there. And you want to uh, go ahead and coat this very liberally on the uh, flesh of that fish. Uh, redfish is a pretty hearty fish and it can take a lot of that seasoning. And so we're just going to pretty much coat this whole thing. We're going to score the flesh of this fish. If you look, this is a lot thinner down here on this side towards the tail than it is up here. But if you score this fish, it's going to help it cook a little bit more evenly. So we're just going to cut right down in it and you hear it sizzling already. And come back across this way. So we just scored the flesh of that fish. All right, so we're just going to leave that right there. Okay, in the meantime, we've got our stick of butter melted in the saucepan. And so to that, we're going to add a little bit of wine. This is probably, I don't know, a quarter or a third of a cup of wine that we've got in there. And then I'm going to take the juice of a lemon. We're just going to squeeze that in there. All right, so we've got a little bit of that same blackening seasoning. I'm just going to add some of that, sprinkle that in there. To that, I'm also going to add a couple of splashes of just Louisiana hot sauce. See what we got there. And then we're going to add a nice helping of garlic. You can do that to whatever taste. I like the garlic flavor on it. I want a pretty strong garlic flavor. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon of that there. A tablespoon. It's a regular spoon. And so we're just going to let that kind of come up to uh, a little bit of a simmer if we can get enough heat on that. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just kind of roll our asparagus so that it cooks evenly on all sides. We can probably go ahead and take a slice of butter and put in there. Just kind of on top of it and let that cook away. All right, so now we're starting to get a little bit of simmering on our sauce here. That's going to be really good. I can smell it already. So we're just going to let that kind of cook, cook itself down. And we're going to reduce uh, some of that wine in there and let that alcohol cook out of the wine. All right, our redfish is coming on along really nicely. The sauce is reducing down uh, towards the consistency that we want. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, about a half a cup of heavy cream to this, and that's just going to thicken it up and make it a nice uh, creamy sauce. So we're going to add that to it. Stir that up. And that fish is just about done. And right at the last minute, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and cook it on. As you can see, that white is kind of coming up the sides here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and cook it, flip it over. Let's, in fact, let's do that right now. Just carefully up underneath here. We're going to flip it over, and I'm going to move it to a clean side of the grill, the griddle, uh, just so we don't get any scales in that meat. And we're just going to let it finish right there, kind of uh, get a nice crust from that blackening seasoning. In the meantime, I've, I've kind of got a cool side. I went ahead and turned this burner off on the uh, side over here, so our asparagus is nice. It's got a nice char to it. And so uh, we're just letting that stay warm over here on this side while the rest of it finishes up. So as that's reducing down, the next thing I want to do is I've got some shrimp. And you can use more crab meat. Uh, in this case, I've got some shrimp. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more of that uh, same blackening seasoning on there. Just kind of mix that all together. And then we're also going to put that on the grill. And so we're just uh, going to sear those for a few minutes. Uh, on the griddle here. Now, so all that's left to do is go ahead and stir this up and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pull our redfish off and top it with that shrimp and then 
finish it off with that beautiful garlic butter sauce. Okay, you see we just flipped that over. We got a nice dark crust on there. That's exactly what we want. It's blackened is what that's called. It's not burnt. That's a blackened seasoning on there. And so I think that fish is gonna be nice and flaky and um, still moist underneath with that little bit of a crust. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and plate it onto this uh, baking sheet here. You see, we're just gonna take that uh, red fish right there. Make sure we don't leave these two pieces. And then we're gonna take the shrimp. We'll put those over the side. Make sure we get our asparagus. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plate a serving of this up for my wife. So we're just gonna take some of that, we're just take some of that meat right there and just gently slide it off that skin of the fish. If I can do this gently, one-handed. Right, so we'll just take a little bit of that, make sure we give her enough. All right, see, look, look how moist, and I don't know if you can see that, but look how moist and white that is. Just a beautiful looking fish. And we're gonna top it with a few of these shrimp. The recipe that I use actually calls for uh, lump crab meat, but in this case, we're using uh, some shrimp that we had left over. And then we're gonna top this with this beautiful garlic lemon butter sauce, white wine, heavy cream, just a rich, tasty, tangy sauce. We're gonna top that with one of my favorite dishes. All right, so I'm gonna go serve my wife. I'll be back to uh, get my plate. If you get a chance, be sure to make some redfish on the half shell, you won't be disappointed. All right, so be sure to join us over at our community and discussion forum at texasbowhunter.com. Got a great group of folks over there that love to talk bow hunting, fishing, outdoors, and anything even semi-remotely related. Again, thank you as usual for joining me on this video, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.